Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop with another toolbox drawer. So today, don't have the most exciting drawer in the shop, but a necessary one. This is my Allen wrenches, at least the ones I keep organized. So I like ones that are brightly colored and have ball ends on them. You know how it goes when you're changing a piece of carb, you know, a carbide cutter out and you drop your Allen wrench in the chip tray and it disappears off the face of the earth. I like this set. These ones are nice and long too. And a long snap-on set. I highly recommend getting a set of these Torx ones. These things are amazing for getting out stripped Allen bolts and for obviously getting out Torx bolts. I got some bigger ones here. There's a, I believe this is a one inch. And seven eighths. I got them in eighths of an inch down from there. And I like to keep or modify, pull some of these out here. I like to cut the angled part off. These sometimes come in handy. First of all, you can chuck this into a drill, either a hand drill or drill press or set or the mill. But those I use those quite a bit. You should make something like this. Or just buy hex stock. And you know. This is more more for the inside the house, you know, put, putting furniture together, stuff like that. And just sets of ones that haven't, I try to keep them in the set. I like that style. And just, like everyone's Allen wrench drawer, just a bunch of endless massive Allen wrenches. Are these stubby ones? They're super cheap. They're actually pretty handy. I made this a while ago. It has a set screw. Where did I press that in? Actually, I pressed that one in. This is for a very specific job. But I have a holder like this I've made with a uh, set screw. You can hold a couple different sizes because you know when on a tool like this, the bit doesn't have to be right in the middle. For like a long reach application mostly for pulleys and that's a quick tool to make and very handy here's some some more i made this was a very crude early one i made this is probably one of the first homemade tools i made for a very specific task. It's very long and very small. Yeah, just your usual. And I keep separate of this. Uh, these have to sit a certain way or the drawer will never close. It's like a puzzle. Uh, the bits. I keep these separate, you know, driver bits or Allen ones. And then you saw in the impact video, I keep impact versions of them. And they're good. I've never broke one. And I keep like, here's the, some of the overrun. I don't know what it is, but you, well, you know how it is that you buy anything and it always comes with Allen wrenches. So this is the, desperation search box to try to find them. And I've probably thrown away two or three times the amount that's in this box. This was mostly sets I took apart. And I like uh, this style of holder over the round ones just because they sit flatter in the toolbox. 
The big thing you're going to want to do is you want to go and get yourself some round ones. Very, very handy. Uh, the screwdriver handle ones with the round tips are also very nice. I don't have very many of those. And I have all these. There's out on jobs. So, <laughs> so yeah. It's my Allen drawer. Again, not the most exciting drawer in the toolbox. But one I find myself opening all the time. I'm actually going to do a video here pretty soon of how to make your own. I call them pulley wrenches for Allen, Allen wrenches. So we'll do a video on how to make one of those. That's today's video. Thanks for watching. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe.